The burning of dirty fossil fuels isn't just polluting our air and driving climate change. It's also having a profound effect on our oceans. As we add more carbon pollution into the atmosphere, about a quarter of it dissolves into the ocean and becomes carbonic acid, which lowers the water's pH level. And that lower pH can stress marine life in a variety of ways. And one of the most important ways is that it reduces the availability of carbonate in the water. And carbonate is an important building block for seashells. We're entering an era where species like crabs, oysters, mussels will have a harder time forming their shells. And this could impact their ability to compete and even survive. And that's bad news for all the other species that depend on these creatures for food. Many types of fish, birds, and mammals may also struggle to survive. By changing the very chemistry of the oceans, we're changing the rules by which ocean life lives. I think a lot of people might be surprised to learn that we're already seeing the human impacts of rising ocean acidity. Right now, the Pacific Northwest oyster industry is facing problems because of ocean acidification and declining carbonate availability. Oyster farmers in Oregon and Washington have witnessed over 80% of their baby oysters die when low pH waters upwell from the deep ocean. Scientists believe within 50 years, these episodic die-offs may become the norm as the Pacific Northwest waters become harmful to shellfish year-round. No one wants to see our fishing and shellfish communities suffer. The faster we understand the enormous threat that ocean acidification poses to those industries, the better shot we have at protecting them.